Hi there. Welcome to Live with Liz, Wednesdays, 12 p.m. Central Time. And I made it right on time today, which has never happened, I think. So um, here I am, and here you are. How are you? Take a deep breath. And just relax into this, these next few minutes together, wherever you are whatever you're experiencing. Um, as everyone is well aware in the United States, we are one day after election day and we are awaiting the results, which is causing even more angst. Um, and I don't spend a lot of time talking about politics and I don't intend to, and I'm not going to today. All I would like to say is um, that I will invite you that whatever the results are of this election that you um, encourage yourself and those around you not to allow this to cause us more division but as an opportunity to bring us together um, years ago i told my husband years ago before things got really ugly i said you know the two-party system in the united states is going to be our downfall because it does nothing but breed division um, family members against family members, friends against friends, and um, and the media just plays on that. And we've allowed it to happen. And I just, I would love to see us move forward from a different place. So um, I will encourage you to lead that way. Um, you know, I have, I have family and friends who are far left. I have family and friends who are far right. And, um, and I love them all. <laughs> I really, I really, really do love them all. And, um, I tend to myself just kind of tend to trend toward the, the middle because I believe that's where we find common ground. Um, I believe we do want more of the same than we realize that our differences, although they're driving us apart, um, the things that we love and care about are more similar than we may know or believe. And so I would just encourage um, you to to try to be that leader going forward, the one that um, comes from a place of love and not division. And I know that if you're in this community, that's who you are. Um, I, I also just want to touch on the emotions that you or others around you might be feeling, and they may be very strong. And they could be anything from um, anger and frustration to hopefulness and encouragement and excitement. Um, and and so I just would, uh, again, encourage you to, to feel those emotions, um, to not let them get stuck, but also to not become too attached to them. Um, rather than dwelling on them, whatever they are, use those emotions as fuel for your passion. What are you passionate about? what's causing the anger or the fear or what's causing the love and the hopefulness and how can you use that in your life to lead you towards something um, really meaningful you know i'm getting a little note here that this is not being shared and so i want to make sure this is being shared to my facebook group so i'm going to take this second and do that it was supposed to be happening um, trying something different so anyway, hopefully you're seeing this in both the Facebook group and in, in the Awe Partners um, page. But back to my point, please um, use these emotions as fuel for your passion. Um, what is it that you're feeling and what is it that the world needs? They need you passionate. They need you um, living fully in your magnificence. They need um, what you have to offer. So take that and do something positive with it because that's what we need moving forward, positive and uplifting um, individuals, women, leaders. That's what we're going to be talking about next week in my Facebook challenge. We're going to start on day one focusing on what you're passionate about um, because that's those positive emotions, those positive, passionate things are what we want to take out into the world. It's that energy that the world needs. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start day one with that, but then we're gonna move day two into getting zeroing in on what your purpose is. So we'll move from passion to purpose. 
where are you meant to serve? why are you here on the planet? what's your focus area? what's your sphere of influence? those are the types of questions that we'll be asking so that we can use this passion to fuel our purpose to make the difference that we're here to make and the impact that we're here to make and then finally on day three we're going to move into profit or what i like to think of as abundance um, when we when we're we're in our passion when we're in our purpose um, the result is profit in our business and abundance in our life in many ways so it might be financial but it might be abundance in um, being part of a community of women of heart-centered mission-driven women who are focused on making an impact that alone adds abundance to your life um, it might be the feeling of of meaning and fulfillment that you get from being on purpose and making an impact in the lives of others. Um, so all of that, that's what true abundance is. And um, that's what true profit is. So we, of course, we wanna make money in our businesses, but we really, really want to make an impact and to experience true meaning and fulfillment in life. And so next week, we'll be covering all of those topics. And I do hope you will join me. We've got a great group of women already gathering, but there's room for more. So um, if you haven't signed up, I will be sure to have a link to the event uh, right below this video. Um, you know, this is, it, it's just a pivotal time on the planet. And um, the election will be over soon, God willing. And, um, but I, I don't want us to think this is the end regardless, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning of, of the work that needs to be done, of the um, division that needs to be sown into unity, um, of the peace that we need to bring back um, to our communities and to the world. So um, I'm asking you please to step up now into a role of leadership, a le leadership that comes from the place of the heart or the place of the soul, um, because that's what we need more than anything and we need women leading the way. So um, that's what we're encouraging here through our partners, through our Facebook group, Business Women um, Giving Back and um, in all that we do. So I, I just invite you to please, um, please step up and into your magnificence, um, own what you have to give and let's do this together. The other thing I wanna say is if you feel like you're holding back, if you feel like you're in a place of either overwhelm or um, just not sure the steps to take, know that guidance is available and that's what I'm here for. And so this Facebook challenge next week is gonna give you a taste of that. Um, what it's like to have some guidance on how to take those steps and what it's like to do it in a community of women, a circle of women. I don't think there's anything more powerful on the planet than a circle of women. And so that's what we're doing right now, we're circling up and I hope you'll be there. So do take a look at the link. Um, we'd love to have you join us next week. It'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at this time. Um, you can hop, hop on live and uh, we'll be covering passion, purpose, and profit. So grow your business, grow your impact at the same time. Until then, I wish you much peace and joy and abundance, and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, I'm just saying, I, before I hop off, Rita com coming on saying, the work is in the mending, needle and thread at the ready. I love it, Rita. I hope you're going to be with us next week. Um, that's it. Get your needle out, get your thread out, and let's start mending. Uh, regardless of what happens, let's begin that process, and let's, as women, lead the way. So much love. I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, be bold be daring, be audacious, and I will see you soon.